introduce yourself and tell me about this. So, hi, I'm, I'm Paul Venezia. I'm an uh, architect at, uh, at DTS or Xperi where uh, we are demonstrating DTS Connected Radio, which is a uh, form of hybrid radio that connects radio stations and broadcast signals with uh, data delivered over an internet IP connection, a cellular data connection. And it, it looks something like this. This is a, a demo radio UI that is generic, but this would be something you would find in a car. And if you look, we have a, uh, this is a, a DAB broadcast, and uh, we have a list of stations by their, their logo, or in the case of 100% NL, it's album art. So if we use the interface, we can probably zoom in here. You can see if we tap on this station, we have the artist and song information and the album art. And we can also go in and we can send we like it or we dislike it. We can share it, which could be posted on Facebook or Twitter or uh, we could bookmark it for later, we can make it a favorite. So all of these things are possible for this one station. And but this is on your car dashboard? Yes. So all of this is happening because the car has an, an internet connection through the cellular data network. So when the radio turns on, it, it talks to our service and it gives us a, a set of coordinates and we return the data for those stations. So you don't have to have a background tuner, you don't have to have uh, the, the delays that are inherent with trying to gather data on the digital broadcast. And this works for analog broadcasts. So this works for uh, FM and AM as well. So if we, if we look at this, uh, I can switch over here. So here's uh, FM in Amsterdam again. And we get album art, there's that same station. And we get all of the, the logos, even though just straight FM can't deliver that data. And we can even do it for AM. But if we go back into uh, in, into the the, uh, the DAB tuning and we go to a, a station like here's uh, right Ed Sheeran Castle on the Hill, uh, so we have we have the album art, we have everything else here. We can also use this, and I can't actually. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll do genres first. So one of the things that happens when you deliver data in this way and in, in instantly, so you don't have to tune it, doesn't have to come through the broadcast is you can do search by genre. So I can go through here and I can say, hey, I want to see adult contemporary. I can just tune it right in. Or if we switch back to DAB, and uh, list, list will just show me the logos. But if I go back into genre, and okay, alternative rock, there we go, 3FM alternative, and I, I'm right back into to, uh, what I want to listen to. This is really handy uh, when you're in a place where you don't know the radio stations. And so like, in, in my car, I know the frequencies of the stations that I like, and I probably have them preset, but when I'm outside of my area, if I want to find jazz, I'm looking through, I'm seeking, and it's a hassle. This, this about, makes that uh, easy. What about if you lose the Wi-Fi link or the, the mobile data link? Right. Uh, especially on the DAB setting, does it also pick up the DAB data yes. and use that? Yes. That's, whatever's coming through the broadcast can also be used. And if there's no cellular data link, it still functions like a normal radio. But as long as it's downloaded the logos once, you've, you've made a connection, you had a good signal, those will stay. So, so the, the display will still look, it'll look like this with the, the station logos. You won't have the album art, you won't have that type of thing. Uh, so the, the, the upshot is that with, with this back channel connection and with our service that, that marries the, the, the broadcast to the metadata, you can deliver higher quality metadata. You can deliver you can deliver information about programs that aren't songs because a, a, a lot of times you'll have uh, situations if you're doing fingerprinting or whatever you can't fingerprint a, a live interview or a newscast. You could distribute that data through this, and it will show up anyway. It will, you can you can be more descriptive. You can have uh, live pictures in the studio. You can take a, a snapshot every 15 minutes of a studio if you have an interviewer, the interview E, and have that be in the place of the album art of the logo if you wanted to do that. So sounds great. Who's using this? So we're we're actually rolling this out now. If you take a look here, we have. Uh, the demo is, is uh, we only, we just because it is just a demo, this isn't actually a tuner. We can just pick different places in the world. So we can go over to New York, and uh, so here's, here's New York City, and we have, you know, this is FM or HD. 
and you'll see all of the, the logos. If we go to the live guide, you'll see all of the um, album art and, and other interesting, you know, so you'll get things like this. Like, the, this is a talk show, so we have a headshot of the host. Uh, and there we go, again. The, these aren't, this isn't music, so they're, they're pushing this through. But we're, we're rolling this out uh, to support the, the world. This will be a global solution. And we're working with auto manufacturers to implement now. This is and a. So uh, you, you do it through supplying an API to yes, car companies exactly. for this thing? Yes. That's what we do. So, so this is our service that, uh, that we have designed and that we are working with uh, car companies to implement. We're going to be working with broadcasters to implement as well because we need uh, information from the broadcasters in order to supply this data. If, if you want your uh, morning talk show uh, or your, your morning drive content to have this kind of uh, enhanced metadata, we need to have that, we need a source of that metadata. So we have APIs that allow that to happen from uh, almost every play out system available. Uh, and, and other radio station workflow software. Thanks uh, a lot.